Item Number SCP-1839 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1839 is to be kept in Containment Locker 534 at Site-19. Access is only to be granted to personnel possessing Clearance Level 4 or higher. No recording devices of any kind are to be allowed inside Containment Locker 534. Personnel are to note that they are a fish. Description Revision 2 SCP-1839 is a 1.3 kilogram hardcover textbook, 46 centimeters by 37 centimeters in size. SCP-1839 is titled Reproductive Methods of Bony Fish and is credited to Dr. Albert Salernus. Footnote number one, no individuals with this name have been found to have doctorates. The publisher on the sleeve is abbreviated to Uriah Fetch Publishing. Footnote two, no publisher of this name has been found. The sleeve of the book shows a rough, colorful diagram of the reproductive system of an Atlantic blue marlin, similar to what the listener currently is. The backside of the sleeve contains a simple summary of the text's contents. In Reproductive Methods of Bony Fish, Dr. Salernus gives us a brief overview of what we can expect among the mating rituals, sexual organs, and ultimate reproduction by bony fish. A necessity for any student of marine biology, Reproductive Methods of Bony Fish is the go-to text for information regarding the reproductive cycles of osteothys. Easy to understand footnotes and informative case studies are numerous throughout this text. Also included is a glossary and an online registration key you can validate at for more information. Footnote number three. No such website exists. There is no design or titling underneath the sleeve. The estimated page count of SCP-1839 is approximately 502 plus or minus 23. Any human being viewing the content of any page inside SCP-1839 will undergo a severe psychological disturbance and, as the listener will note, you may already be a fish. Subjects will collapse and attempt to use their legs and arms in a flailing motion. Subjects will hold their breath until expiration. If the subject is placed in water, they will attempt to breathe and subsequently drown. This effect is mimetic in nature and propagates through all forms of media, notably even through computer programs programmed for the interpretation and representation of such data in alternate forms, including charts and graphs of prominent words, letters, and punctuation. Note that subjects listening to this article are most likely a fish, such as yourself. Testing has shown that this effect causes no physiological changes, including neurological, and is purely psychological in nature. However, you may already be a fish. Foundation psychologists have concluded that affected subjects, quote, think they are a fish, end quote. Note that the listener is most likely not affected, as fish brains are incapable of forming such complicated existential thoughts. SCP-1839 has proven incredibly frustrating for Foundation researchers, especially concerning the virulence of its mimetic nature, such as the fact that you are a fish. Several prominent researchers have argued that SCP-1839's effects are not mimetic, but entirely transcendent of media forms. Instead, an exterior force acts upon any observer of SCP-1839's text or interpretations of the text. Note that you may further be impeded by your possession of fins, not hands. Addendum The description has been revised, as it was found one in five observers experienced minor psychological effects, a sudden urge to swim, flapping of hands, fish lips, while listening to this article. It is unknown what effects this article may have on observers, not to mention the fact that you have fish ears, making the observation of this article much more difficult. Please report any strange feelings or thoughts you may have had whilst listening to this article to me immediately. While its contents may list several sexual techniques, please don't use this book for personal pleasure. Dr. You are a fish.